Which resources should you use in order to pass a cybersecurity certification? In this video, we're gonna talk all about picking the right resources to make sure that you pass the first time. Make sure that after this video, you keep watching the rest of the series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. Also, if you're trying to break into cybersecurity, check out my Getting Started page for free resources and a copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. All right, let's get into the video. Depending on the cybersecurity certification that you're pursuing, there could be several different options to choose between. When I choose a certification to study for, one of the first things that I do is go to the official certification website to see which study resources the vendor has available. This is the website for the CISSP, and if we scroll down here, you can see there's a register and prepare for exam section. And if we keep going down here, there's this learn more for the official course books. So we'll click this. And you can see all these different resources that are from the official vendor. So remember, if there's official resources, the exams are based on the information in these resources. If you ignore an official resource, you might be risking your exam because you're not getting the full exposure to the material that the exam is based on. I'll also add here that you don't always have to reference the official materials because honestly, some instructors are gonna cover certain subjects better than others will. Okay, now you've got the official guides. What's next? Next, I like to go to Amazon and do a search for the certification that I'm studying. One of the nice things is that for many certifications, there's gonna be condensed last minute cram style books that are significantly shorter than other resources. For example, there's an 11th hour book for the CISP with around 200 pages compared to the official guides, which are a thousand pages or more each. Please don't use these condensed books as your primary study materials because you'll be missing out on a lot of information, but they can actually be very useful once you get close to your exam date. All right, now we have plenty of books to study for our certification. Are we done? If you can't tell already, I'm a huge fan of multiple resources when studying. Books are great at providing detailed information, but videos are also helpful and typically they're more engaging for students. The final piece of our study materials needs to be a video course. Now, there's basically a few different options for video courses. First, you can sign up for an in-person or live virtual training course. The downside of these courses is that they have a set date and a lot of times you'll have to go in or do them virtually when the instructor is on there. And honestly, they're quite expensive compared to other options. Second, you have training platforms like CBT Nuggets, Cyberary, and INE, which have a ton of different courses that you can access on various topics, and you can watch them on demand when you're ready to go. The second option is less expensive, but they might still be out of your price range or less appealing to you. The third option is to use professionals that develop their own courses for purchase, either through their websites or websites like Udemy. My training falls in the third option because I have courses on my website and Udemy, but I don't have the full overhead of a company, so the cost is significantly less. Last, you have free resources like YouTube. The free resources, you have to be really careful though on who publishes the content because you could have somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about. With that being said, you do have knowledgeable instructors such as myself, Professor Messer, and others that publish free resources for people that might not be able to afford it otherwise. You don't have to disregard free training. I'm simply saying just be careful and know who your instructor is as well as their credentials. Question of the day, which of these resources have you used to prepare for a cybersecurity certification exam? Let me know down in the comments section below. In this video, we talked all about picking the right resources to make sure that you pass your exam the first time. Remember that you should use multiple resources in preparing for your cybersecurity certification exam. Make sure that you keep watching the rest of this series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.